Okay, so if you saw my uh, previous video about the uh, power semi and uh, also about the video that you get posted, uh, Crimson uh, Louis doing the cut. Um, so you would know to uh, borrow the power and bring it up. And uh, on this particular cut, the edge of lightning is not a major issue on this particular side, which is from your left side going up. So left side going up, you know, as, as long as you let the sword drop and then come back up, you can make the cut. Now, here's what I'm going to do on the next part is the right side power thing. Now, a lot of people might think, well, shoot, I mean, it's like, I can't even do a double cut yet, but, you know, how can I pull a triple couple with a double cut? It's actually, the whole thing about it is how to use your body mechanics to actually generate these cuts. Uh, all these have to do with body movement. That's it. And then uh, uh, borrowing the momentum and the inertia to generate these cuts. Now, so the next cut, now if you see my bottom kind of video, let's say the next in front of you, you would know that uh, to align your blade, okay, you're going this side or you're going the other side. Now, so do a cross semi from the right side, you align the blade first, you cut down. Now remember the other side you cut down to the left, uh, left. This side you cut down to the right. Now once you cut down to the right, now remember angle straight, cutting down. Turn the waist. Borrowing this tower and turn the sword. Once you turn the sword, the sword is moved backwards. Like this. From there, same thing. Don't stop. Bring the blade up. Now the position of your hand, your middle of the handle is probably right here where your hand is. So when you're holding the sword like this, when you're cutting down, your, your, your handle is probably already right here, right in this area. Now if you remember when I uh, was talking about aligning the blade, now if you maintain the bottom hand right here holding, and then basically just turning the angle like this. I mean, your hand will run out of place to turn. You can't expect to cut like this. So the back hand holding keeps the uh, blade alive. So you dropping it down, the sword is down like this. Okay. So remember this position that you're at. So once you come down, you turn the blade. Remember that position where your hand is at, and then your back hand holding that position. Once you come up, okay, so barring this force that's going down, allow the blade to come back up. Okay, allow the blade to come back up. Now the reason being, I want to try to get you guys to see how I cut, why I go with the conversation first. Simply because you need to learn how to allow the sword to go back. Because a lot of people, what they do, when they do a double cut, is they bring the sword to the side and attempt to swipe it like this. And they, they, they try to, you know, generate a lot of wide range of motion. Now, in a real battle with swords, you're not going to go like this as a person and try to cut. Uh, simply being because he won't know what you're doing and he won't cut you. So, the whole thing is to allow the sword. If you go up to a person and cut, you are going to do it in one motion without pre holding the sword like this to cut. Now, you see a lot of people when they do these cuts, and they'll do like this, they'll line it, and they'll, they'll cut. Now, what you want to work on is to allow that sword to come back for you already. The first one already letting it. You generate enough power to let the sword swing back. So you don't have to purposely bring the sword back and try to torque your waist up. So this helps you to learn how to do consistent double cuts and how the whole dynamics of your body is going to work by bringing the sword up. I'll generate that strength. So your body movement basically is one, two, and three. Okay? So come down one, two, three. Okay, third cut, the same thing like I mentioned. Turn the body first, allow the sword to come over. So down, 
Remember to cap the vision up. So down, bring the sword back up and cut. 